Hi there, this is Scott Bogart from CFO Outsource. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the implicit rate of interest on a lease by using a loan amortization program. The program that I use is called T-Value and can be purchased at www.timevalue.com for about $150. Before running the program, you need to determine the dates and amounts of all payments. This includes the initial deposit payment, which is usually the first and last, the amount of each monthly payment, the lease termination charge at the end of the lease, and any other scheduled payments. If there is a purchase option at the end of the lease that can be determined, you will also want to run a separate iteration to cover that possibility as well. In this example, we are assuming the following facts. The date of purchase is January 1st, 2011. The lease term is 60 months. The fair market value of the equipment at the date of purchase is $40,000. The monthly payment is $1,000. The amount due on signing is the first and last, which is $2,000. And there will be 58 payments of $1,000 each. There is also a lease termination fee of $800. So first we open the T-Value program and we give the schedule a name, which in this case is lease number one. For the compounding period, we enter monthly, and we enter this from the drop-down menu. For the nominal annual rate, we enter unknown. This is the amount that will eventually be calculated and is the amount that is the implicit rate in the lease. Now we put in our cash flow. On line one, we call the event a loan and enter the date of purchase of January 1st, 2011, along with the fair market value of the equipment, which is the same as the cash purchase price of the equipment. In this case, the fair market value is $40,000. On the next line, we enter our first cash payment, which in this example is the first and last payment, totaling $2,000. This happens at the inception of the lease. So the date is also January 1st, 2011. On the next line, we enter the monthly payments and the fact that there will be 58 of them starting on February 1st, 2011. Remember, there is a total of 60 payments of $1,000 and the first two are made at the inception of the lease. So payment number one and payment number 60 have already been made. On line four, we enter the lease termination charge of $800 and the date of the termination of the lease, which is January 1st, 2016. Now that all the cash flow information is entered, we click the Calculate button. The program now tells us that the implicit rate of interest is just over 19%. If you intend to purchase the asset at the end of the lease, this may be a problem in trying to determine the implicit rate. This won't be a problem if the purchase option has a fixed dollar amount. All you do then is simply add the purchase option price to the termination fee and then click calculate to determine the implicit rate. But if the lease says that you may purchase for fair market value, you may have to estimate this amount. And understand that if you're wrong, this will affect the implicit rate. But some leases give no criteria as to how to determine this amount other than stating that it will be determined by the lessor. Understand that if this is the case, you are completely at the lessor's mercy. To learn more, visit our video library at www.cfooutsource.com. Thank you.